What's up, this is EasyOSX, and today I'm going to show you how to erase a flash drive or other external drive. So to get started, we're going to go to the Applications folder, and we're going to go down to Utilities, and go to Disk Utility, right here. So as you can see, I've got this SanDisk flash drive that I've got put into my computer, and I want to erase it. So once I've plugged it in, I'm going to hit the Erase button, and here you can give it a name, I'm going to uh, just call this test and you can pick the format so the default options are two Mac uh, different ones you also have the fat option which is one of the most compatible and then XFAT which is a newer version of the fat format I'm gonna do XFAT because I'm gonna be using this on multiple different computers and this you typically don't have to mess with um, you can usually leave it as either master boot record or GUID partition map depending on what you want to do but normally you can leave either one of these as is and be just fine now one more thing I'm going to show you is the security options so normally when you erase a drive or tell something to be deleted like from your trash can you're not actually deleting anything what's really happening is you are telling the computer or the computer is telling the drive anything that's in this area or on this drive it can be written over. And this makes sense because if you were trying to erase, in this case it's a 4 gig drive, but if you had say like a giant external drive, that would take forever to try to wipe everything, every single thing away. And it would take a lot of time. So what a lot of drives do is they just say, you can write over this stuff. And then as you put things on the drive, those things kind of get written over, but you still may have pieces left. The best analogy I can come up with is imagine you decide to paint over a stone wall or it's just any wall that has maybe like some graffiti or some other artwork on it. When you paint over it, you're not really, you've not really gotten rid of the graffiti underneath, you just cover it up. And if someone knows what they're doing or you don't cover up all of it, someone could still see what it is and potentially retrieve it or figure out what was underneath it. Now for most things this really doesn't matter, probably for a lot of things you may not be really worried about, an old school paper, some old photos, etc. But if you've got some really sensitive data, say like tax forms or um, some really other sensitive documents, you probably don't want to just use the default fast erase method. So macOS has three different security options on top of the basic fast one. So if we drag it over to the first one, what it'll do is do a random pass of data and then a single pass of just writing zeros to the drive, which basically is two erases. The second level is the DOE or Department of Energy compliant three pass secure erase where it writes two passes of random data just random data once random data again and then it writes a pass of zeros all across the drive again so three erases and the most secure option is the US Department of Defense standard which basically erases over a drive seven times this is the most secure option if you really have something where you need to make sure that it's compliant say for example um, health data, tax records, etc. You really want to make sure this stuff is not going to come back. This is Department of Defense certified to get rid of that. Though again, depending on what you're racing, check the legality of your area. The other thing to keep in mind is this will take a lot more time to erase. The more times it has to erase, the more times it has to physically write to the drive, the more time it's going to take to do. So imagine, you know, in the case of a four gig, if I'm erasing the seven times, imagine basically filling up this drive, transferring four gigs of data to it seven times, or in other words, 28 gigs of data. You know, for a drive like this, it's not too bad, but if you've got a really big drive, like an external hard drive or something like that, it's going to take a long time. So make sure that you account for that. Now, in this case, I'm not particularly worried about the data that's on here. So I'm gonna hit just the second option. So I'm just gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna hit erase. I'm gonna let it run. And you can see right here, it'll tell you what step of the erasure that it's on. If you're normally running just a quick version, it's only gonna just show you like where it is in reformatting the drive and just kind of doing some basic uh, markup of it. If you are actually erasing the drive, you're gonna see the stuff and you're gonna see the, uh, the loading bar here. And we're back. You can see I've gone ahead and taken the liberty of cutting ahead. This took about 15 minutes to complete. You can kind of see all the sectors and all the things that it did. So now keep in mind also this is a, an, old, an old USB 2 drive, so that makes it a little bit slower. If you're using a Thunderbolt 3, USB-C, things like that, your experience will probably be a little bit faster. So we're going to hit done. 
But that is basically how to securely erase a drive. One other thing I'm going to show you here is that um, you can make multiple partitions. As you can see, this is one partition on this drive, and that's really enough. If you have multiple partitions and you want to leave the other ones alone and you only want to mess with one partition, then you can just click on that partition, in this case test, hit erase, and you can go through. In this case, you don't get the option for master boot record or GUID, things like that, because it's only one partition and that's handled by the whole drive itself, not just an individual partition. So there you go. That is how to erase a drive and to securely erase a drive on macOS. Thanks again for watching. If you want to check out more content here, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And you can also check us out on easyosx.net and on social media. Thanks again for watching.